Good morning, YouTube. Dude RV. Here we are embarking on our Christmas New Year 2019 journey. We're going to visit four Texas State Parks and one Corps of Engineer Park. And that's our first one to head to. We're headed down to Belton Lake, Cedar Ridge Park on Belton Lake. We're gonna cross Lake Whitney Dam and we're taking the back roads. 35E going through Waco is under construction. So we have chosen to take the scenic route down into the Texas Hill Country. So come along with us as we head down to Cedar Ridge Park. Cedar Ridge Park, Belton Lake, just a little bit west of Temple, Texas. As you saw, we, we came up through some very pretty hill countries, back roads, very tight and windy for the big RV. We're in site number 60. So Cedar Ridge Park is a Corps of Engineer property, and as a result, it's not as it's not quite up to the standard of most of our Texas state parks, but it's still, I mean, look, where we are. Site number 60's got a beautiful lake view. Now there is a trail right over there, and we're gonna check that out momentarily. That trail goes down to the water. We've got a covered table, a barbecue, a fire ring, Although it's not exactly ADA handicap friendly because you got to go down the, the hill. But it's very flat. We didn't have to do any blocks on the wheels. Nice big front porch. A big front porch. Some extra parking space for the truck. Plenty of shade from the oak tree, big oak tree. Now it's water and electric only. It's a 30 amp, no, 30 and 50. And when we came in, we saw quite a few deer. 
All right, so if you're camped out at Belton Lake, or you want to go, if you want to go camping at Belton Lake and Cedar Ridge Park in particular, you might choose to go to one of these screen shelters and look where they're located. Man, just so peaceful. Screen shelters, you know, that's, that's, they are what they are. They got water, place to park three cars, A little kitchen counter there, electricity, light. I don't, I don't have any idea what it costs to rent one. You can find that on the recreation.gov website. You get picnic tables, fire ring, and a barbecue cooker. But everything you need except beds and fishing gear. Speaking of fishing gear, I see fish jumping in this lake. I, I'm gonna have to go do some fishing. There's a weather system moving in. Maybe they're biting. All right, let's go see some more stuff. There's a buck in the road up here. He hasn't seen me. I don't know if you can see him, but we're gonna see if we can get up close. Oh, he sees me. He's looking. What is this? What is this thing on a red scooter? There he goes. That was cool. <laughs> I was actually looking for some wildlife, so I found some vultures. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. But more importantly, is what we see over here. So the turkey from before was a hen. Now the tom is out here. Or maybe it was a young tom. There's what, three hens? Watching you too. Watching you, watching me. camera. I tell you, that is not a fun place to hike. It's really hard on, hard on dude's feet. Belton Lake. So days like today, I really wish I had a watercraft. Dang termites put me out of that game. This would be a cool place to kayak. All right, I'm gonna climb back up this hill very carefully. I really like that campsite. 
nice and flat. Looks like ours is the only one that faces the lake that you gotta go downhill to get to the pavilion. They didn't mention that on the website. Well, I just finished doing the FPV scooter run and hey, it happened again. One of y'all came up and said howdy and that was True Texan. So I'm, here's a shout out to you, Steve. It was a pleasure to meet you. I enjoyed our conversation. Anytime you see me on the road, make sure you flag me down and come see me. Not a whole lot of stuff to see here in Cedar Park. Especially since half the park is, is closed. I've had a couple of questions asked, actually several questions asked of me. Well, last, I don't know, three or four videos. One of them came from the Sunset Seekers and they were asking about our schedule. Christy asked, I don't remember the exact phrasing she used, but something along the lines of, it seems like y'all only spend one night at every park you go to. And for the most part, in, in a large respect, that's true. And mainly because a lot of those videos are, uh, it's just on the way. But when we went to Colorado, we had to be there at a specific time, but we didn't want to drive it straight through. We typically drive about 200 to 250 miles in a day. Um, and more than that, we start getting fatigued and the dogs are going nuts. And, you know, we don't want to spend all of our time driving. So I find campgrounds along the way at about 250 miles. And that, that's, that's a good half day drive. And then we're ready to hang out, relax and recuperate and get up and do it again in the next morning. <clears throat> On this journey, for instance, this park, we decided we wanted two short day drives on our way south. We're gonna pick up four Texas state parks. Uh, one of those is Blanco. Blanco's not a real big park, so for me to shoot video footage of it's not gonna take very long. And it looks like it's a really neat park, but we're more interested in the next two after that, which is Garner State Park and the South Llano River. So I'd much rather spend two days in the bigger parks than two days in a smaller park so that I can give you more content <clears throat> better. Because the bigger the park is, the more time it takes for me to go around and, and get it all. The smaller the park, like the one where we are today, it doesn't take me very long because there's not a whole lot of stuff to do. But most of the time we're on a mission going someplace or coming back and we've driven 250 miles and we're, we've stopped recuperating to get up and do it again the next day. And she also asked, it, it seems like that's a lot of work to set up and take down camp. Well, let me show you what we have camp wise. I've set up the kitchen. That took me five minutes. Setting up the RV since, you know, we've got an automatic leveling system. If the pad side is great, it's literally drop my, my pads and I don't have to do that. I just use the wood pads to protect my investment more so than protecting the, the pavement. Uh, then we plug it in and hook up a water hose. Literally, we, we're set in 10 minutes. So we're with the setting up kitchen and setting up camp, we're 20 minutes tops. And the next day, it's 10 minutes to pack it all up because everything's got its place. So we can deploy and put it back and just snap. Uh, the little bit more time involved when we're hooking up the truck, but even still, that's maybe five, ten minutes tops. So set up and take down is, is simple. Now, if we were using a tow behind a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, because we had a travel trailer, that was labor intensive. And that's not something that you're going to set up and take down because we were doing it. So doing one night stops was, was a job. 
So set up and take down. 20 minutes tops. Piece of cake. Now Dave and Buster, super fan Dave, uh, asked about my Texas State Park mission. Dave was asking me, when did I decide to visit all the Texas State Parks and video document them? That occurred four years ago when we were still in the travel trailer and we had we were visiting McKinney Falls State Park and that rig was well over 60 feet long and no one bothered to tell me that I shouldn't go this way around the loop that I should go this way because there's a hairpin curve this way I didn't know the map didn't show it nobody talked about it on reviews or anything and I was literally off the road on both sides with this big long rig and I was like man somebody ought to do a video <laughs> okay <laughs> I got the scooter I got the GoPro I might as well I guess I'm elected so I did it so I started doing it and now it, and I realized I just I, I love it I enjoy helping you get to know your destination before you get there so that you're not driving into a surprise for instance if you're coming into this park do, don't even think about taking your RV down to that marina. When you get over to that to the end of the road, if you've missed your turn, do not go down to the marina. There's no place for you to turn around if you get down there. You're stuck. Especially if you got a big tow behind. There is a sign that says no trailers. Heed that warning. So that's answering the three questions that have come up in the last couple of videos. I guess that's it. I'm going to see if I can get into some, something, some other trouble. Go see what else I can do. Stay tuned. More to come. I got it. See? I got Hi. you too. Thanks. All right, we're getting ready to cook some supper here. And of course, you know, we're going to have... Lone Star. I'm going to have some Lone Star... Wenzel's Lone Star Meat. The Lone Star Brat. The one that just sold me on Wenzel Lone Star Meat. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. As soon as the charcoal's ready right there in the little chimney. Meanwhile, we're just sitting here watching the birds and the fishermen on this beautiful lake. Really ought to come check out this park. That's all for tonight. <laughs>
foggy the lake is. Belton Lake. It appears that we are going to have a very clear sky today, so our next park will be brighter. No hurry, we only have a, a two hour drive to get there. So this morning I'm cooking up some breakfast. Gonna put, cook some sausage on charcoal. That's good stuff. Maybe make a taquito. Yappy said she saw some deer in here this morning. Ziva is on guard. From here, we're gonna head over to Blanco State Park. It's been one night there as we travel deep into the Texas Hill Country on our way to Garner State Park. To give you a little recap on Cedar Park on Belton Lake, I like the park. It's very when you're waterside, it's, it's definitely a great view. Uh, not too friendly for the mobility challenge to, to get down to the water. Oh, that trail kicked my butt yesterday when I went down there. Therefore, I didn't go back. Great place to spend the weekend with the family catching some fish. Wish I had a boat today. Campsites are all, they're roomy on the water side. When you get back over on the interior, they're, they're very close together. I look forward to coming back in a, on another visit once they have the, the remodel completed. Because I, I did sneak around the barrier yesterday uh, and what they're doing over the on that side of the park looks really, really good. New concrete pads and new electric and the whole package. Someday we will come back and check it out. Meanwhile, we're gonna get on the road, head to Blanco, Texas. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, remember to click on the subscribe button and by all means, remember to click on the bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so very honored. That's why I do what I do. All right, with that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?